All right, so here's the question. Should you learn more than one programming language at the same time? What are the pros and what are the cons of learning multiple languages simultaneously? Will it help you speed up your learning process or will it confuse you and slow you down? Let's talk about it. All right, so somebody commented on one of my more recent videos about should they learn more than one language? And basically the answer is it really depends on your situation. Are you a brand new programmer who's never touched a line of code or have you already been programming for a while? The answer is different for everyone. Now, if you're a brand new coder, if you're brand new to programming, then my recommendation is to learn just one language. Focus on one language first, because if you've never touched a line of code, then the first thing you have to do is learn the fundamentals of coding. Now think about it like this. If you're learning more than one spoken language, let's say you're going to learn Hindi, German, and French, and you want to learn them all at the same time, that's going to be a very hard thing to do. But if you learn one spoken language first, then it's easier to learn other languages. And the same thing is true about programming. When you learn your first language, you're going to learn the fundamentals. You're going to learn how that programming language works, but you're also going to learn how to think like a programmer. And that'll make it so much easier for you to learn a second language later on. Now, the caveat to this is that if you're going to learn a stack of languages that all work in the same field, like say you're going to become a web developer, then yeah, you're probably going to learn HTML first. And while it's not a programming language, it's a markup language. It's still a language to learn. But then very quickly, you can learn CSS as well. They're going to go hand in hand. And then from there, you can mix in some JavaScript. And then the natural progression is going to be either Python or PHP. Now, you're not going to necessarily learn them all at the same time, but you could learn them back to back. And since those languages all work towards the same goal of creating a website, learning them in sequence and sometimes having an overlap is going to be beneficial because you learn how those languages work together. The flip side of that is like trying to learn assembly code and learning Python at the same time. They're completely polar opposites. And that'll definitely probably confuse you in terms of your learning process. One thing you'll notice over time is that a lot of high level languages have very similar syntax. And when you get into more scripting and programming languages, you're going to see they have a lot of the same concepts. You're going to see they have loops. You're going to see they have functions. You're going to see they have classes and objects. There's going to be conditionals for you to work with. So in that case, once you learn one of those languages, learning the second one afterwards is going to be a lot easier. All right. So let's say it takes you about six months to get a good understanding of the fundamentals of PHP. At that point, let's say you're going to also take a look at JavaScript. You're going to notice it takes you less time to learn JavaScript, at least the fundamentals, because of your foundation within PHP. And the reason for that is because of their lineage. They all derive from C. C is the mother of a lot of programming languages out there. And then if you learn another language after that, that's still part of the C family, it'll be even easier. And again, because you're learning the syntax, you're learning the concepts, you're learning about the art of programming, and you're basically shaping your brain in terms of becoming a programmer. You know, at first you may not be able to understand the programming concepts, but over time they get easier and easier and easier. But if you try to learn more than one complex language, like say try to learn Python and PHP at the same time, they're not really complex, but in terms of the level of functionality and features they provide, it's a lot to learn. If you try to do both at the exact same time in the beginning of your programming journey, you might end up getting confused. You might end up getting lost in the differences. Because while they do share similarities, there is a difference in the formatting of it and the way they do functions and other areas of the languages that might trip you up in the beginning. And based off of that confusion, you're going to end up having a slower learning process. And let's face it, unless you have all day to study how to program, you have limited time. So if you're only going to dedicate one hour a day to programming, what are you going to do? Half an hour in one language, half an hour in another? It doesn't really make sense. But now if you have more than five hours a day to learn how to code, then maybe you can mix things up. It's basically all situational to how much time you can invest, what your learning style is, the resources you're using, and the types of projects you're working on. Again, if you're working on web development, yeah, learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in relatively short time frame between them, that's definitely doable. And then you have to think about what your ultimate goal is. Do you want to be an expert in one or two languages, or do you want to be a full stack developer, or have experience? with a bunch of different languages. And there's pros and cons to that as well. Let's say you're going to become an expert in one or two languages. If it's a very popular language and if it has a good lifespan ahead of it, 
then going deep into your learning process of that language is going to be very beneficial. But then you also run the risk of what if that language falls out of favor? Because the one thing you're going to see in programming, there's going to be another language that ends up getting on people's radar. Then at that point, you have to invest some time learning a new language. Now, if you know multiple languages, if you're a full stack developer, or if you just have a good understanding of how each language works, then you'll be able to pivot from one project to another. It makes you very adaptable. And honestly, a lot of companies are really looking for full stacks. But if you're a beginner to programming, if this is your first time getting into coding, then my recommendation, learn one language first, but then it's definitely beneficial to learn another language. And again, it's basically because what you're going to end up doing is learning how to program. And the programming language really doesn't matter at that point. Once you know how to code, once you know how to program, learning another language afterwards is all about learning the syntax, which is not that difficult. Learning the paradigms of the program, honestly, not that complex. Once you have a good understanding of them and then seeing what stack of languages work well together. And that's the progression between a coder, a programmer, a developer, and an engineer. And I'm going to talk about that in another video. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.